What's up YouTube? Welcome back to Crafting Cars. Huge news. All the parts to build the LS1 are finally in. Connecting rods and pistons. That means we gotta get the block all prepped to be put back together. And that means cleaned and painted. Let's get started. So here she is all unwrapped. I sprayed everything down with WD-40 a while ago. There's still some residual, but there's also like dog hair and stuff in there um, and fuzz and whatnot. And this surface still needs to be uh, cleaned a little bit better. There's also some dirt and stuff in these crevices here, like there, all inside here and stuff and on the mating surfaces and whatnot. Down here along the oil pan, you can see there's some oil residue there as well. The oil pan was leaking pretty good on this guy. And on top of that, the rear main seal was also leaking. So you can see like in here, that is all really thick grease. So that's all gonna have to get cleaned up. So first things first, I think I'm gonna throw the wire wheel brush and on the drill and take some brake clean to all this. So one thing that I noticed pretty quick was that a whole lot of brake clean goes a very short distance. So I did end up having to run out and pick up some more cans. Um, but that's what I'm using here is just brake clean and a wire brush. I'm using that to get the majority of the dirt, grease, and oil off. It really cuts through like a wonder. It's awesome stuff. Now again, all I'm doing here is pretty much just getting most of the oil, dirt, and grease off because I am going to be coming through with some other tools later on here. So I'm just hitting it with the brake clean, getting all that dirt and grease nice and loose, hitting it with the brush, trying to get the majority of it off, and then washing and rinsing it off again with the brake clean. Now I do end up hitting the surface here for the cylinder heads. I hit that with my carbide bit scraper, which is nice and precision flat. Get all the old head gasket material off using that. So here now we are back inside the garage and I'm taping off the cylinder heads. What I ended up doing was I hit them with a brass wire wheel. It's super soft metal, but it was enough to take off all the residual head gasket material on top of that. You can pick them up from the store. They're pretty relatively cheap for what they are. Um, and I use that to clean up the heads. It doesn't scratch or mar it and it doesn't get rid of the old cross hatching that the milling left. And then here on the side, I picked these up from my local art auto parts store. These are just nylon wire wheels. I have a nice wide one and then I also come back in with a super small one, probably like an inch, inch and a half. And then I come, the majority of the big stuff I hit with that three inch cone. Then I use a lot of air here to brush up, blow off all of the old dust because I don't want to continue rubbing the old stuff into the new fresh material. And I think as you look here, you can really see the side of the engine block really start to shine up as I get all the old dirt and crud off. Now, as I'm going through and taping all this stuff, I, as you see, I pull off anything that would prevent me from getting a nice flat surface with the tape. So I end up pulling those dowel pins out. There you saw me hitting it with that brass wire wheel again. And I go through and I tape everything all off. One trick that I want to mention that you can see me doing here is I'm using the 
edge of a razor blade and I use that to follow the contour of all the machine surfaces and that gives me a nice clean cut edge so rather than having to follow it all around and trace it seeing as how this block is aluminum the blade will dig into it but if I just drag it across um, the opposite direction of the cutting edge then it'll actually scrape across that corner and it gives you a really nice clean precision uh, line that you can just pop the tape right off it'll follow it perfectly it works really well and you, it's half the time so much faster Okay, so as you can see here, I'm using some Duplicolor engine primer. This stuff's rated for really high temperatures, I think 500 degrees Fahrenheit. Here I'm doing a couple of medium coats with it. I'm starting here, kind of lighter a little bit, making sure that I get all the nooks and crannies. I want a little bit of paint on all the nooks and crannies, so I'm sure that the next coat, which I'm gonna put on thicker and thicker as I go, I'm sure that that coat sticks. And to prevent running and stuff, I'm making sure that I turn the engine on the engine stand just to make sure that I get, again, every nook and cranny. This is the primer, so it's all in the preparation. What you do here is definitely going to make a huge difference when you put on the final coat. So you definitely want to take your time. And as I'm going through here, I'm pulling out bolts. I'm sure that I get the full face and base of the engine block but after I do my first coat I want to let it sit for a little bit so there's nothing really left to do except for pull up a chair crack a beer and watch some paint dry after every single coat I waited 10 minutes or 15 sometimes just enough to let it tack up and whatnot before I laid on the other coat in total, I did, I believe, three coats with a couple of touch-up spots in some areas that were really tricky to get to. And there's kind of a side glance of what it looked like after my third coat. And now it's time for the final paint color. Here I'm going with, I decided to go with a black metallic and same thing, super high temp rated, specifically made for engine blocks and that sort of situation. Now I was kind of surprised because with this stuff, it went on pretty thin, really thin actually. So this one I ended up doing about four coats of. I really laid them on, um, but the end product here, as you're about to see, I think really does it justice. Alrighty guys, I hope you like this stuff. It turned out amazing. Really nice, even coating and stuff. Couldn't be happier with the result. I'm not sure if I'm gonna end up doing the heads when those are all done and on here or not. We'll see, let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. Um, but yeah, if you like this stuff, leave a like. Don't forget to subscribe. See this build come together. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.